Jay Bird here from NorCal Brewing Solutions. Hey, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about our Krausen catchers um, and how we're using them as a three-piece airlock system for CO2 concentrations where you're using a fermenter and then you are cooling that fermenter after fermentation and getting suck back up in there. So we designed this thing so you can actually have a reservoir of CO2 that is actually being sucked back into the conical. And so here's the system put together. Uh, this is how it looks when you would be using it, whether you're using a conical, a spidel, or whatever your fermentation is, it doesn't really matter. But so here it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart and uh, show you guys how to measure and cut and, and actually put it together. So these are the parts, I'll pull apart. So what you'll need to do is whatever size jar you're using, you will cut two pieces of tubing that go right up to the bottom band. Okay, if you just stick it on the bottom, right up to the bottom band. After it's all put together, you're gonna have plenty of room underneath. So you need to cut two of those. Then you need to cut another piece about a foot long, and this is gonna go between the two crowds and catchers themselves. And so how we put this together is you have your four nipple crowds and catcher and we'll put one of our small pieces on the bottom of that. And we have our two nipple crowds and catcher with the grommeted hole and we'll put one piece on the bottom of that just like that. And now you notice I'm not using hose clamps at all. No big deal. Um, you will want to put your V style gasket around there. And so what you'll do is you'll just take this guy, put it on here like so. I do use a little bit of keg lube in here just to help get it a little bit better sealed, but not vital. Um, and throw your ring on here like so and make it snug. Now, the one that has the tube on it, you'll go ahead and attach your connection tube. And then we'll do the same thing with this guy here. This is going to go down on here like this. Throw your ring on here and then connect the two pieces. Okay? Now, before we actually do that, we're going to go ahead and fill up one of these about halfway. It just needs to really be above the bottom of the tube, about an inch or so. That guy goes on like so. Connect the two, like so. And then you can use your three piece or your two-piece airlock or one-piece airlock, it doesn't really matter, okay? Now, you'll connect this to this last nipple and then connect it to your blow-off tube on your conical or your spidel or your bucket or whatever it is that you're using for fermentation. And then, so what happens is during fermentation, CO2 gas is going to come down, fill up this chamber, and then if there is any water in here, it's going to push it over to here and use this as your airlock. So we'll get just like that. And then what happens is now when you go to chill your fermenter and you're going to suck back because of the pressure difference, it's going to be sucking the liquid from here back into here pushing the carbon dioxide up into here so you're not sucking liquid back into or star sand back into your fermenter like so. So now there's no way to get any liquid up into your tube. And then say you've crash cooled you're going to go ahead and let the temperature equalize, and if it does decide to push more carbon dioxide out or fermentation, it's just going to push the liquid from here over to here using this as your CO2 reservoir. Just like that. So there you have it. There's our Krausen catchers put together as a three-piece airlock used as a CO2 reservoir for your crash cooling and your fermenters to try and keep you from sucking the liquid from your blow-off 
back into your fermenter. Happy brewing. Cheers.